Hello, my good friend. What is a surprise? When I started to tell to my grandchildren, you Ed, gave me new themes to my sea stories. Yes, the world of shipwrecks is very fascinating, and I am starting a new theme to my learning English. Look at this. In that way, my first story started. It was in the deep, dark evening, without any stars in the sky. The birds gone and went to their nests, and we were sitting next to the fireplace, hearing wonder stories about the travels of our grandfather. About the travels around all the world, about the meetings with different, interesting people, and their cultures and customs. We always liked our family meetings at fireplaces, and our grandfather's stories. When Grandpa started telling his story about his adventures in the Pacific Ocean, and very heavy work on fishing and trade ships, where he was working many years. Suddenly, what's doing? What's it? Silence evening. All our family is at home, all the children are sitting in the living room at the fireplace, and from outside the house we hear a hard, sharp sound in our bell door. Our elder grandchild quickly ran to door phone and asked, who is there? The sweet voice outside the door said, post office. I'm a courier, and I have a parcel for your grandpa. Grandpa, there is a courier with the parcel for you. May I open the door? He asked me. Yes, of course, and invite you him to join to us. The young lady, wearing in beautiful red costume, with a big hat on her head like a dwarf, came into our room. She had a thin, long parcel in her hands. What is it? I asked. It is the parcel from Leland, the USA. My God, I said. My the best friend from the USA, but what about this parcel? What's it? We started slowly, and it gently, unpacking the parcel, and from the box of parcel, slipped out a roll packed in foil. We unpacked the roll with foil, and inside was a very fascinating picture. Foiled shipwrecks map of North Carolina, Cape Fear and frying pan shoals. Many shipwrecks which sank next to sea sites of North Carolina, Atlantic Ocean. Many ships which sank from the beginning when discover of North America to nowadays. What do you think of my learning with reading and writing letters? My God, I said, my good friend want to connect to our meetings at Fireplace, and hear my sea stories. Wow, we invite you, Ed, to our family team of listeners stories our grandpa teller. We think that will be as interested in beautiful stories as fables, from a thousand and one nights, which our grandpa told us, when we were babies. Many of them we remember to the nowadays. What do you think of my learning with reading and writing letters? Warmly regards. Zbysek Matt. And now let you sit around me, next to the fireplace, and listen to my story about shipwrecks, which was sunk during the last time of centuries. I worked on seas and oceans on many, different ships, but I never imagined, that so many, different ships have sunk over the centuries. Yes, of course, I have known many interested stories and legends about tragedies on seas and oceans, and ships who drowned, but I never don't think about it, with it maybe connect with my sea work. I always felt safety. Listen to one of my stories from North Carolina, about the sunken ships and wrecks, that lie at the bottom along the coast near Willington. Look at the map which our friend, Edith sent it to us. The map gets only a small area of seas and oceans, but I wouldn't believe in it, what I saw. The chart shows the area next to near North Carolina, North Carolina, where my good friend lives. 
This chart presents more than 240 shipwrecks long on beaches of the coast of the area. Many shipwrecks with their history and with points where they sunk. In many places where ships sunk, the most interesting are Cape Fear and Frying Pan Shoals. The Frying Pan Shoals are a shifting area of shoals off Cape Fear in North Carolina, United States. Formed by silt from the Cape Fear River, the shoals are over 28 miles long and resemble a frying pan in shape. They provide excellent fishing. The shoals are known for the high number of shipwrecks found in the region and are deemed part of the graveyard of the Atlantic. The shoals are known for the high number of shipwrecks found in the region and are deemed part of the graveyard of the Atlantic. From May 1994 to August 2008, over 130 new shipwreck locations have been discovered in the area. Known since the beginning of European exploration, the shoals were marked on a map in 1738. The southern edge of the shoals has been marked by nine lightships including the frying pan, a light tower, and a weather buoy. The Bald Heads Light and the Oak Island Lighthouse have also provided warning to mariners. To be continued. Warmly greetings for you and your family. Be happy. Spice Zek Matt.